Here's the book Roy's House. This is written by Susan Goldman Rubin and the art is by a very famous artist that I'd like you to know about. His name is Roy Lichtenstein and he did pop art. Roy's house. Come on in. In Roy's house, a telephone rings. Company is coming. Ring, ring. Roy's living room has a great big couch. There is room for many friends. There is a small yellow chair for reading and a lamp that is shining bright. We can feed red fish that swim in a bowl. How many? One, two, three. Something smells good in the kitchen. Roy is baking a pie. We can sit up at the counter and have a tasty snack. Maybe a hot dog and a bun. A drink with a straw and then yummy cherry pie. The bathroom has a tub and sink. We can wash our sticky hands. In Roy's house, there is a bedroom with yellow pillows and lamps. Let's go into the studio. Roy paints pictures here. He keeps his brushes in a jar ready to paint. A bunch of pretty flowers. or the sunset in the sky. We can paint pictures too. Swish a stroke of yellow, drip, drip, dripping on the floor. If we make a mess, we will clean up. Wipe, wipe with a soapy sponge. Get ready. Here comes company. Knock, knock. The door is open. Come right in. Welcome to Roy's house. The end. I'd like to share with you some more paintings and artwork of Roy Lichtenstein. This one is called Modern Painting with Bolt, and it was done in 1967, and this is in the Museum of Modern Art in New York. The next one is called Hot Dog, and it was done in 1964, and it is in France now. Um, this is enamel on steel, so it's not like a regular painting. It's enamel, which is a hard, shiny surface, almost like a street sign. This next one is called Blam, and it's at the Yale University of Art Gallery, and it was done in 1962. This next one is called Reflections on Wham, and it's at the San Francisco, San Francisco Museum of Modern Art in California. Tongue tied there, sorry about that. And the last one I want to show you is um, Wham, and I want to show you the full scale of what it looks like in a museum so you can see how big it is. It's kind of huge, right? His work is pretty amazing. The last painting is Sunrise, which is what you all, I would like you to look at that and take inspiration from. What do you notice in his work? 
What colors does he use? And how is his lines created? So we're going to work on that together in the next video.